Welcome to Wisdom Trek. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, but my grandkids call me Gramps. We are on day 2012 of our trek, and one habit that I practice nearly every day for the past 45 plus years of my adult life is to read the chapter in the book of Proverbs that corresponds with the day of the month. This single habit has been the catalyst for gaining wisdom and creating a living legacy. Adopting this habit can do the same for your life. The realization that God's wisdom is the only true wisdom drives me to seek out God's wisdom each day. And there is no better way to do that than to meditate on God's book of wisdom. Wisdom is the final frontier in gaining true knowledge. So we are on our daily trek to create a legacy of wisdom, to seek out discernment and insights, and to boldly grow where few have chosen to grow before. Today I'm going to read Proverbs chapter 3. The Book of Proverbs chapter 3 Trusting in the Lord My child, never forget the things I taught you. Store my commands in your heart. If you do this, you will live many years and your life will be satisfying. Never let loyalty and kindness leave you. Tie them around your neck as a reminder. Write them deep within your heart. Then you will find favor with both God and people, and you will earn a good reputation. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek His way in all you do, and He will show you the path to take. Don't be impressed with your own wisdom. Instead, fear the Lord and turn away from evil. Then you will have healing for your body and strength for your bones. Honor the Lord with your wealth, with the best part of everything you produce. Then he will fill your barn with grain and your vats will overflow with good wine. My child, don't reject the Lord's discipline and don't be upset when he corrects you. For the Lord corrects those he loves, just as a father corrects a child in whom he delights. Joyful is the person who finds wisdom and one who gains understanding. For wisdom is more profitable than silver, and her wages are better than gold. Wisdom is more precious than rubies. Nothing you desire can compare with her. She offers you long life in your right hand and riches and honor in your left. She will guide you down delightful paths. All her ways are satisfying. Wisdom is a tree of life to those who embrace her. Happy are those who hold her tightly. By wisdom the Lord founded the earth. By understanding he created the heavens. By his knowledge the deep fountains of the earth burst forth, and the dew settles beneath the night sky. My child, don't lose sense of common sense and discernment. Hang on to them, for they will refresh your soul. They are like jewels on a necklace. They keep you safe on your way, and your feet will not stumble. You can go to bed without fear. You will lie down and sleep soundly. You need not be afraid of sudden disaster or the destruction that comes upon the wicked. For the Lord is your security. He will keep your foot from being caught in a trap. Don't withhold good for those who deserve it when it is in your power to help them. If you can help a neighbor now, don't say, come back tomorrow and then I'll help you. Don't plot harm against your neighbor. For those who live nearby, trust you. Don't pick a fight without reason when no one has done you harm. Don't envy violent people or copy their ways. Such wicked people are detestable to the Lord, but he offers his friendship to the godly. The Lord curses the house of the wicked, and he blesses the home of the upright. The Lord mocks the mockers, but he is gracious to the humble. The wise inherit honor, but fools are put to shame. And today, as you ponder Proverbs chapter 3, please encourage your friends and family to join us and then come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor. But most importantly, I am your friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal each day. And as we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity and leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward. Enjoy your journey and create a great day every day. See you tomorrow for more daily wisdom.